Hello, hello. People who know me for a long time most definitely know that I'm a Mauser fan, even though I never got anything from Mauser except for a cup and I'm a paying customer. But given the semiconductor shortage, Mauser often is out of stock and these fine folks from Utsos, they often still have stock. And so I recently had to buy something from them and now I wanted to tell you a bit more about my experience. So, and now let's start out by looking at the Utsource website. The first thing which you see here is this warning on the top. And yes, sometimes they do price go up. With me, they did it on one order. So sometimes they do make a price go up, sometimes not. Either way, be that as it may, one thing is very interesting about Utsource, namely, as you see, the Utsource is not just a distributor of new components. You see here, for example, where it says used, they have parts which have been refurbished. So apparently from some kind of electronic scrap and they got them back. And this, however, can be very useful because in some cases they simply have no parts in stock and then the only thing you can do is buy the used chips. And yes, they also act as a broker. So you see here, for some parts, things can get very, very expensive. And one more very nice thing is this plus feature here. This is, I think, mainly for European customers because the customs due is always levied only on the actual transaction. So by using this plus membership, where you see you get shipping coupons in exchange, you are able to reduce your customs burden by basically paying in advance and then you have free shipping because it's like in air quotes a promotion. So this lets you lower the total cost of the transaction. And yes, what do we see here? This is the package and you see this inside here is the actual components. But the interesting thing is you see that they use DHL for shipping. And this is very positive because DHL, at least here in Eastern Europe, is the only company where you don't need to worry about the custom fees so much because you can pay directly to the customs. Either way, this is the box which we get inside. And yes, we see it's glued together pretty well. So now let's cut in here. It's glued together. Well, well, well. And what do we see here? Our Utsource price list. And then we find the actual components, the four types in the different baglets. And yes, let's take a quick look also at this document. Generally, we see that Utsource does not seem to be particularly communicative. So you see here, we get the part number, we get the description, and they don't even tell us which ones are used, which ones are new, what the parts do, and so on. So, well. And so, what do we have here? Here we have 10 pieces of the XL semi-voltage regulators and 5 pieces each of the FTDI chip, which I need for a client. And this is something which I find interesting. Because you see here, the 10, they pack them up like this in a bent way. So this might be a bit difficult for a pick and place machine. But on the other hand, well, you see, it's a very small package and the labeling actually is not that bad. Of course, if they would have put these, some of them are used, some of them are new. If they would have put more information on the box, I would have been happier. But in principle, it's not that terribly bad. And now we come to the final question, namely to the used FT232 parts, which I had to buy.
And yes, this here, the tape was actually excellently made. And now let's try to turn them over. And let's look at what we got here. And from a first glance, they actually look pretty good. And yes, I will, of course, make a second picture later. But to me, at least at the first glance, these parts look pretty clean. Okay, there are a few scratches at the bottom. But in principle, they look clean. And yes, I do have to take another look at one of those. You see, the print quality is pretty terrible. So this QR code, for example, I'm not sure if I can read it. And yes, if they would have used a better printer and maybe added one or two lines of additional documentation, it would have been better. I mean, it's not a deal breaker. It's not excessively confusing, but it's just missing a lot of information, which would be useful. So to cut a long story short, I didn't yet have the opportunity to test the FT232 parts, but at least optically, they look good to me. So the folks at Utsos apparently do what they promise, at least by and large. Of course, sometimes there is price go up, but in principle, this seems to be quite legit. So thank you very much for tuning in and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.